Monopoly whose outfits were ever in fashion. Skater boy's dream? Faux farm girl? Prep school cool? Can you say heinous? Oh. Such a pity so many of your beautiful apparels are so long past their expiration dates. What do you want, Gaspar? I was thinking perhaps my designer dress and I could be of some assistance. And it is all yours, if you agree to do me a teensy-tiny favor. Oh, I'm listening, Gaspar. Well, you see, Brandy, my dear sweet mother is coming to pay me a visit. And for some reason, she is thinking that I am dating the most prettiest girl in all of the jungle. Helga the moon-faced monkey lady? It don't get no better than this, boys. I was referring to Brandy. So, Helga's available then? Very available. I only need you to be my pretend girly friend during her quick little visit stopover. And then the dressy dress is yours. Shame on you, Gaspar! Brandy Harrington has a little something called dignity. And her dignity is worth way more than your ultra-expensive dress. Why, if I knew Brandy, she is gonna march right up in your face and say... Mother the Gecko, it's so great to finally meet you. That's enough, dear. You're wrinkling my Thursday moo moo. So, this is the brandy I've heard so much about. Mm, brandy candy is the love of my life. <laughs> the apple of my eye. <laughs> the sweet caramel center of my candy cotton. Oh, sorry, Cuddle Cups. I thought you were on fire. I was. So, tell me, where did you two meet? Dr. Ferris Fox. Wheel. Well, actually, there was this freak Ferris wheel accident, and when I came to in the doctor's office, there Gaspar was. Talk about a make a girl weak in her knees hunk of gecko. Ugh. And since that magically time, we have been west deep in love. Isn't that right, my precious brandy pandy? I mean, speaking of time, I have this place I should be that's not here. Mother's visiting is not done, so neither are you. Off we all go. I'm ready for fun family outings. Oh, Italian words. Italian words of which I sing now. So oh, gaspy. you whiskers it was wrong it was disgusting it was like dating a thousand you oh, imagine a thousand knees guys oh, focus hey you 642 put your pants back on oh yeah i see what you mean well i guess you could always give the dress back yeah i guess that's one <gasps> well i didn't think i could look any better but this designer dress has found a way yes it has Okay, that's out. But ugh! How his mother can stand to me around him, I'll never know! <gasps> Wait, that's it! I only have to be Gaspar's fake girlfriend as long as his mother's visiting. If she leaves early, I'm off the hook! Hmm, yes. If only we knew someone annoying enough to drive mother away. But who? Who? Ah! My evil twin is back! And so, I said... Anybody got a plunger? Oh, my, what a disturbing anecdote. Yep, that's my kid brother Whiskers, as vile and disgusting as the sun is shining. Hey, look at my alphabet soup. I can do spelling. Oh, that is simply obscene. You think that's obscene? <laughs> Wait till you get a load of this. Warning, due to the graphic nature of Mr. Whiskers' actions, we'll just watch the happy lump clowns till he's done. Sharing makes smiles. You're special. And we're back. Mother, please believe me. This foul creature's behavior is in no way a reflection of me or my precious brandy pandy. I know. Most people we meet just walk right out the door and never come back. 
walk out. This has been the most entertaining meal I've had since, well, since that food fight you lovebirds had during lunch. Oh, thank goodness. Which is why I've decided to extend my stay through the holidays. All of them. All of them. I have mistletoe. Kiss me. I have Valentine's chocolate. Kiss me. Happy Professional Administrator's Day. Kiss me. Mother, visit as long as you like. I will have plenty of room for you once I clear the dead things out of my dungeon. Oh, Whiskers, I never should have agreed to this stupid deal. Do me a favor, take Mother out for a long walk. It's time for me to tell Gaspar what I should have told him in the first place. You are demanding what? That's right, the whole Angelo Santa Radicchio ensemble. Shoes, purse, bracelet, jammies, trucker hat, tiara, the works. But that is... Did you know how many shiny rocks that will cost me? Hey, my dignity is worth way more than some stupid dress. So, here we are, on our jungle walk. On your right jungle, on your left jungle. Oh, look, a macaw. I think that's a parrot, dear. No, I'm pretty sure it's a macaw. Ah! Ah, mother! Okay, what if we make the purse designer light? Hold on, I'll ask my dignity. No knockoffs. Uh, excuse me, Gaspar, I need to borrow Brandy for a sec. <laughs> Whiskers, you're supposed to be taking Mother for a walk. Yes, about that. I sort of, kind of, maybe accidentally walked Mother off a cliff. <laughs> and another thing, the whole cliff thing sort of, kind of, maybe might not be the worst of it. Sure, but my best guess is no. Don't just stand there and go find out! Is that a problem? Well, um, actually, Gaspar, there's something I need to tell you. Yes, but first there is something I must tell you. I accept the terms of your contract. Really? You see, Brandy, my mother, she meant the world to me. For years I lived in sadness, knowing we had drifted apart. But now, thanks to your generous insights, I am closer to her than ever before. And for that, I forever thank you. So, what did you want to tell me? Just that... I hope you saved room for Cobbler! Oh, maybe it's Mother and Whiskers back safe and sound from their walk? Hey there, Miss Brandy. Mr. Gaspar, I just heard the tragic news from this buddy of mine who hangs out over at the volcano. Weird kid. <laughs> Anywho, I would like to present you with these here flowers and offer my most heartfelt condolences on the unfortunate passing of your mother. Mother's driving test! What? Mother does not drive. Well, she drives us bananas. And according to Ed, she's gone and made it official. Thanks for the flowers, Ed. Bye bye now. I'm so sorry, Gaspar. Wow. 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 Where is Mother? Who is outside? I demand to know what is going on. Gaspar, no! All that matters is what's going on in my heart. Sweet peaches and cream, my eyes have seen the glory. <laughs> oh, that's it! I can't take this anymore! What? But Brandy! I don't want your fabulous ensembles and designer dress, and I don't deserve any of it! Your mother may have fallen into a volcano, and it's all my fault! <laughs> yes, again! Mother, you're alive! But how? I'll tell you how! The rest, as they say, is history. Oh, Mumsy, I'm just so glad you're alive. I'll put a sock in it, Runt. I ain't playing your mother no more, you got me? <laughs> Mother, you have been through so much. Perhaps you should take a little lie down. Get some other sap to play your stinking mommy. I quit. That wasn't your mother. You made up this whole scheme just so you could go out with me. Uh, well, I, uh, you, uh, I. Uh... Now remember, Brandy, you just learned a valuable lesson about putting dignity before fashion. You know what, Whiskers? You're absolutely a hundred percent right. And maybe tomorrow I'll learn a lesson about how violence never solves anything. Tomorrow. Brandy, Brandy, 
vida, voy a truca. No, really, call me.